And welcome to Iowa here in the uh, C Fixed series. Uh, we're going to go ahead and qualify because we are the number four, and if we don't qualify, we're going to end up in the middle of the field anyway, probably. So uh, we're going to try to get a good lap out here. Um, I was a fun track, always pretty fun. Um, feels so much bumpier than I remember in the truck here. I don't know if it's because we got a uh, low, really low downforce or something, or what's going on, but it's, uh, yeah, lots of bumps, and not even just on the high side of turn one, you know? Try to pull that slide. It's going to get loose here. Pretty much always. That's just how this place is. Exit the corner, you really gotta fight it. And, uh. Try not to let it snap on you. It's back, uh. It's pretty well known for making you put a bunch of wheel in it, and then at the exit of the corner, it's just all coming back to you at once. And, uh, you hit the snap, so. Uh, looks like our first lap was maybe our better lap because that was a 497 followed by a 526. So that's about as good as it's gonna get. Um, hmm. Seems like it might be all right. I think it's a pretty low strength of field, so we might have some uh, slower guys, some wrecks. Not sure. And we're gonna have wrecks no matter what. Um, <laughs> I imagine that's uh I actually want to test out, if I get stuck up here, how bad's the bump? Not good! Oh my god, the bump up here. Holy smokes, alright, don't do that. You could kind of get away with it in the Arca car. I don't think you're getting away with that. So, uh, avoid the high side. In turns one and two. I bump down to third. I didn't really even feel like that lap was all that great, so I'm kind of glad. We uh, seem to have a decent uh, starting position here. I don't know how I'm going to save tires. I, uh, not sure how I'm going to get it done here. It's kind of a weird track to try to save tires at when we're getting loose on the exit, but kind of feel tight on entry. Guess uh, just got to use the brake to turn. And maybe uh, easy on the throttle midway through the corner, and then give it the gas. On exit. Maybe that's uh, the way to be. It's so weird. It's like uh, both tight and loose, depending on how fast you're going, at what point in the corner you're at. Um, interesting. It's a, it's an interesting drive. So uh, That tightness that you can get on exit, I feel like that's going to cause some guys to drift up and hit, hit people on exit. So that's something to watch out for. We've been bumped to fourth. All pretty close lap times though in the you know, top. We all got point fours. I just uh, barely snuck in the point fours, and then that guy barely didn't make it out of the point fours. He almost got a point three. So we're all within a tenth in the top here, and then uh, kind of drops a tenth each position down from there. That's interesting. But uh, going fast doesn't even really feel like going fast necessarily like you put the brake you kind of let it roll put in enough uh, gas to get it rotating but not too much to have it snap on the cold tires but it seems like just whenever you start running some extra laps it gets real tight that's kind of sketchy to me I'm wondering if you might have to move up the track as the race goes on so maybe like somewhere up here uh, just so you can make the corner how you want. And then I wonder if the high side and turns three and four will be an option. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how other people are racing and how it works out for them. Man, this thing is, it just feels so tight. And all these bumps, I lowered my force feedback to kind of Help ignore those a little better. It's uh, it's curious. That's the end of the session.
Yeah, uh, we're hopping out just about uh, in time. Not too many people qualified. That's interesting. See, that's exactly what I was saying. If I didn't qualify, I would have just been 10th right in the smack dab middle. So, I needed to do that. Um, I'm I'm going with 14 to 1. I might wish I had 16 to 1 eventually, but uh, I practiced with this, so I don't want to go out oh, there yeah. and have it feeling unfamiliar. So uh, a little too late to be practicing with 16 to 1. I want to make sure I know what I'm getting into. Oh, yeah. And people doing the things they do. Um, 60 laps, so... I'm really going to need to keep the tires on this thing. I just I wish I knew how. I wish I knew what that took. You see, saw I moved my brake bias back a little more, even. I'm really, like, kind of pushing it with that. But I think it's going to be really necessary. Um, I hope I don't have to slam on the brakes for a wreck, because I'm spinning around, probably, if I do. But, so... Uh, Man, I, I really want to prevent this thing from getting too tight, because even that short little run I did after qualifying, was, uh, it was starting to feel real tight, and that's not a good feeling. So, I don't know. We'll see. Imagine I'm probably... Well, I guess I don't know for sure. I, I was going to say probably not going to finish in the top five. I don't feel like I'm very good, but then again, like I feel like my qualifying wasn't very good, and I still qualified fourth by a couple tenths over the, the guys behind, so... But, I mean, I don't know. I just I guess I don't know what to expect. I'm not sure if I've... To go. Nick, yes, I have done a truck race here. The setup, I swear, is different than it was the last time, but I actually did a race against Dale Jr. here in the trucks before. That was pretty cool. It was before I started recording my races. That would have been a cool one to have. But uh, Dale Jr. showed up. And uh, there was an instance where it was a wreck early. And I, was, I didn't want to take tires. And me and a, another guy didn't take tires. And then it went green to the end. So I got to watch Dale Jr. and the rest of the field drive by me. And I never got to use the tires I saved. Of which we get two in this one. So uh, that was too bad. <laughs> but uh, I didn't wreck him. And I was good. Enough about that race. We got a new race to worry about. About to go green. Stay focused. And we're about to get going. Watch that car is off. Green, green, green. We can jump. It's gonna be really loose. I gotta remember. On these cold tires. I'll take the high line just because of that. Keep myself from spinning, maybe. Outside. Clear up top. Outside. Still there. Oh my god, these bombs. They're so brutal. Clear outside. I'm done trying to pass. <laughs> That's enough of that. Not interested anymore. I was like, alright, I got a great run. Let me see if I can do it. Nah. I'm not out here trying to wreck people. Felt like I would go ahead and uh, give it a try, but... <laughs> We're just going to try to keep a pace here. And uh, let me focus on saving tires. Get that brake. Pushed in. Get that throttle. Turn in a car, truck, you know what I'm trying to say. And uh, we'll try to find a good balance between saving tire and keeping up with this guy, this group up here. Ooh, I see it's loose. I just, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Just trying to do the basic, don't turn the wheel too much kind of thing. Doesn't seem like there's a consensus up front here. The line you want to take, necessarily, to save tires. 
Kind of looks like they're going uh, every which way. Six catches us. We'll probably let them go without much to, uh, much of a battle because we've got a nice gap behind him. So I'll let these guys fight it out. Maybe I'll save tires better. We awesome if this went green, but uh, we'll see about that. Yeah, there's that brake bias. That was all brake bias. I didn't turn the wheel at all there. That's where that extra rotation is hopefully going to come from. I went a little exaggerate there. Kind of see what it felt like, but I kind of like it. But like I said, I hope there's not uh, something I have to slam on the brakes for, because <laughs> our car is not going to break in a straight line. Let's put it that way. that loose. If I can drive through the looseness, then I should be able to uh, keep it up. Keep up the pace. There we go. Counter steer. Little tight there. I don't know, man. I just don't know. Counter steer. <laughs> I feel it trying to turn on me, trying to turn to the left, and just doing what I can to uh, prevent it from going around. It's still getting that rotation that it provides. Very fine line. That's going on there. It's gonna make a lot of noise. I hope that's not audible. Seems like if you really can be smooth, you can be, uh, you kind of get off the corners real nice and still not use the wheel too much. Some of that green up there on top on the relative, or on the, uh, delta bar, rather. I'm kind of worried where that three was. I wasn't sure where he was going to be in relation to me at the exit of the corner. It was uh, kind of tippy toed a little bit. Yeah, he was running away. They might know how to be fast and save tires. The number one and the number two definitely have good high ratings. Uh, three at least has one better than I do. Um, but I'm not sure if he's like in the 6,000 range, like I'm pretty sure like the one is. He's like one of those guys. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think uh, if I have a good race here, I might actually hit 4,000 uh, I rating for the first time. That's, uh, I know, useless numbers. Useless numbers that mean nothing. But, uh... I'm a numbers person. I like stats and stuff, so it's still kind of neat to reach a milestone, even if it uh, doesn't really mean much at all. I'll probably, the next race I do, lose it right back again, because that's what iRating does. It goes up and down. But uh, still kind of neat reach that for the first time. Just, uh, just got to know not to take it too seriously. Appreciate it for what it is. And, uh, don't let it... Uh, make me upset and not enjoy the racing because oh my internet number it's not where I want it to be oh no <laughs> okay so we might have better tires than the three not quite ready to pass yet I want to make sure it's decisive if we do let's uh, get a run on them or something My aggressive brake bias, I think, is really helping out. Like, uh, you can just see how hard it's turning in, and it's not me using my tires to do it. Just done I think uh, it's going to do wonders for us. As long as I don't uh, push it too far. 
And again, I could be burning the tags off right now, not even knowing, because I am less knowledgeable. That was not a good turn. I uh, turned in a little bit too soon. Nice and spread out, it looks like, out here. We got uh, lots of space between guys. I think he's kind of running away again, so maybe... Uh, I don't know what that means. I'm pretty sure I'm being consistent still. He's pushing to try to keep the spot. I don't know. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing though. See where uh, where it ends up taking me. Hopefully forward, not backward. Some other wheels creaking. I'm also grabbing the wheel probably too tight. <laughs> Um, six, kind of hanging back there. He seems like he gains a little bit, loses a little bit. Probably just because I'm inconsistent. I try to be consistent, but uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not. Still kind of learning how this, uh, how the truck runs here. It still feels pretty foreign. Doesn't feel uh, too obvious to me. I definitely use some more laps in this combo to really start figuring it out. Loose on exit, good stuff. Just kind of wondering if uh, I'd even get that anymore as the run gets later, but. Uh, did get a little bit loose on exit. It's uh, honestly a good sign to me. Means the rears are, well, you know, the right fronts aren't getting all of the abuse. <laughs> We've got uh, a little bit more even with the right rears as well. This might just end up being where we finish, to be honest. Way too low there. Ugh. Got the angle all wrong. Bad, 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 bad corner. Gotta take a wider than that. Last lock was at That's better. And let's do it a little better this time in this corner. There we go, look at all that green. I mean, look at that, you make like one mistake on one corner and you lose like two and a half tenths. You've just done a 24.7. Crazy, man, crazy. That's just wild and crazy. I'm doing all right with tire wear. Doesn't feel like it's getting super tight like it did uh, in my qualifying run. Now that I'm actually kind of paying attention to uh, how it's turning. So I feel like I could definitely be much worse off than I am right now. Still could get a caution at some point to throw a wrinkle into our plans, but I think I would very much rather this thing go green. Even if I can't catch the three or something, I feel like I can probably keep ahead of six unless the six is like super saving and uh, it's about to unleash fury on me at some point. <laughs> but uh, I feel like I'm doing an alright job. Uh, keeping it clean, keeping it uh, the tires happy, all that good stuff. Yeah, I got through that corner real good that time, compared to the last lap. Anyway. Loose. Kind of uh, one of those tracks where you uh, don't really have much time to breathe because even though you're on the front stretch here, you're still turning in a little bit and you're still trying to position yourself for the next corner. You've just done a 24 point and then uh, when you get to the back stretch, like all up until like a little bit later in the corner exit, you're still kind of worried about uh, it trying to snap on you, especially on colder. Newer tires. 
Ooh, I did the thing again. Why went too low? That wasn't as bad though. Ooh, that was almost bad. I almost drove right into the wall. <laughs> Don't do that. Uh, yeah, I don't really have that much time to think about things. Leader's five seconds ahead. Second place is four seconds ahead. Third place is one second ahead. You got me. And then uh, about a second behind is the number six. It's your little run through the field. <laughs> or through the top five, at least. Still only just past the halfway mark. Still got a lot of race to go. Very much loving this uh, green round now. Uh, Nick Neben just posted on a Twitter preview for his next uh, video. His thumbnail for the truck race that's coming up. And he does open. It didn't look like, <laughs> judging by the thumbnail, that one went caution free at all. In fact, it looked like there was a very, very big wreck. So... I think the let's not's happened to us here so far. So far. <laughs> Five's had some trouble though. Not enough trouble to cause a caution, whatever it was, but that stinks for them because they uh, lose a lot of their internet points. Their race car points. I wonder if iRacing will ever take like an approach where you can, I don't know, unlock different customization things for your driver based on, <laughs> I don't know, my raising, I rating milestones. That's a horrible idea. People would be farming I rating and stuff like crazy. Just thinking out of the, off the top of my head right now while I'm racing. You know, they probably considered it before. Like some sort of like redemption system for the points <laughs> they get. I don't think I would like it though. I think that would cause a lot of inner eye racing problems. People doing weird things to farm it and get their, I don't know, character that looks like Dale Jr., like the driver change their driver to look like Dale Jr. or something. I don't know. Uh, we're kind of falling off. Here, maybe. That's a little concerning. It looks to me like three is driving away. The six is catching us all of a sudden. So I might need to think about what I'm doing. This might be pushing a little bit more at this point. I'm just not hitting my marks. Either way, it should probably be a little better. There you go. There's a tenth and a half. Better that lap. Probably me just babbling about stuff, not focusing on hitting my marks as well. Hopefully this lap truck will make it easy on us. I didn't really see how the three managed to get by him, but apparently didn't hurt too bad because he's been driving away from me. The three, that is. We have to get on the gas a little bit there. I was afraid it was going to get tight. really don't want to push back the brake bias more. I could, but first of all, I feel like brake bias is doing a well enough job already. I just gotta use it more by pressing the pedal a little harder. And second of all, it's already so far back that it's a bit dangerous. I just watched the lap car, or the lap truck, do that little sideways thing, and that's exactly what I was talking about. Like, if I have to slam on the brakes because the guy's spinning in front of me, which he's still trying to do, and, uh, might be rough. Here we got a lap truck approaching us. We'll take the high lane this time. You got options at Iowa, so I don't mind. 
clear. It'll be a little slower, but uh, not too bad because you'll see we'll get the run off. So thank you, Iowa, for giving us options. So lap trucks with fresher tires, I assume, don't run us over and kill us. I was going to reach that five there. Six still, uh, still approaching. Outside. It's on our outside. Clear high. Truck. Sure wish you would just let us by. Anyway. Hey, he did it. Outside is clear. Oh, just slams on the brakes on that into the corner. Or not expecting that. I almost ran in the back of him. how bad that affected us. Last lap, lose about two tenths because I had to take the corner weird. So we definitely uh, either didn't save tires as, as well or are just playing not as fast as the guys ahead. So that's too bad, but I'm still fighting for this fourth place. Put the number six behind us. I think we're doing an all right job. Uh, they are approaching a bit, but I feel like I still have some tire left that uh, I could push a little harder to keep the spot if I need to when it comes down to it. I feel like it'll probably be difficult to pass late in the run like this. Could be wrong. I feel like that could be a thing. Uh, 12 laps to go now. Pushing a little harder now. As hard as I can with the tires in the state they are at this point. Not, they're in a, not that they're in an awful state, but they have been on the truck for 49 laps now. So of course they're not going to be in peak condition. If we drove that just a wee bit, kind of hurt us a little. Find where the truck's at at this point. Find out how hard I can push, what I can get away with. Feeling it out. Got ten left to go. Was at 25.0. Didn't seem a little bit. Seems to kind of work. was about a tenth up. Let's see if we can try to keep that going. The six is scaring me. He might reach me. Got to fight it off. Oh no, we got tight. Oh, we got tight. That killed our runoff. We're going to lose about two tenths. Oh, the... It's the end of the world. It's the end. It's the end times. He's a coming, oh lord, he's a coming. Got through there pretty good. I honestly feel like it's still in the truck. I just, uh, a little bit more skill at being able to get this thing around the track in the state it's in.
tell he's kind of being patient and waiting for his right opportunity. See when he just decides to take it. Maybe waiting for me to make a mistake. So hey, let's not make a mistake, right? Easy as that. Why does he simply not just not make a mistake? Never thought of it. Five to go. To go. Can we hold on to fourth? I'm trying, I'm pushing. Trying to keep this thing. Obviously not the end of the world if he gets by me. It's still top five, because the other guys aren't catching. So I feel like I have a decent shot of keeping it, so I'm going to try my darndest. Get on the gas a little sooner. Okay. So I'm saying, like, I feel like it's in the truck. I just gotta be able to hit my marks. All right, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. You think it's gonna be very tough for him to pass this stage of the run? Two left to go. Two to go. Two to go. I'm feeling pretty good. He might have pushed it a little bit to try to get up to me. That might have made it harder for him. No way to know that for sure, but could be uh, why we're still able to keep in front of him a bit and it almost looks like he's fading off a little we might have won the won the battle before it even started white flag one more left to go wow how about that caution free race in truck i was just <laughs> i was just complaining not that long ago about uh, how this series scares me cuz it's always bit of a nightmare and then we have a caution free race so who am I to judge you truck series I'll just kind of take the last corner easy very good that's the end of the race chicken flag chicken flag good job very good job that was a great one, guys. I love a caution tree race. That was a lot of fun. Did I have it on mute? I did have it on mute, so if they were yelling about something, I didn't hear it. <laughs> Oops. And that's that. Fourth place. Top five. 67.80. Oh. <laughs> 59.78. My shame. Here it is. Oops. <laughs> I'm so bad at so tires. Even when I think I'm like, oh, I did okay. <laughs> Moving to the top is key lesson learned. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god, 70-73. Why am I incapable? So he says moving to the top is key lesson learned. They start there. Okay, so the the winner starts on the high side. That might be the way to go. If I ever do this again, it might be the high side, at least with this setup. That's great information to know. Cool. All right, so started fourth, finished fourth, and the fourth. <laughs> Car. Uh, isn't it funny how that works? We'll see uh, what incidents did happen. Nothing worthy of a caution, though. It's the start of our race. Mm -hmm. Barely almost hit the wall. Barely did hit the wall. Peels it off. Almost runs into them, but they're good. It'll snap on you. Tires are still cold on lap three. Cold enough to make it do that. But 
postman out here on the track delivering our mail. First, that's not the first time I think that nine was kind of like getting near the wall, kind of getting a little swervy. I think that was prediction code. I don't think he actually did touch the wall there. Looks like he was off of it. I don't know what happened to the the five other than that. Because he started in the back, I guess. I don't know. I, I figured the five would be right up front. What happened? He started in the pits. He might have been late. That might have been what it was. So, wherever we were, I'm a, I don't remember. Got sidetracked. Yeah, that's right about where we were, because that's when he hits the wall. Back where we were. Postman. Sends it via mail. Oh my. And then hits those bumps. Oops. Interesting. It looks like they might be like 16 to 1 or something. They like, uh, they seem swervy. Almost like someone that would have like their field of view too far back. Like the 15 got loose and the 17 uh, was unable to get around him. Ran out of the back of him. Stamp. I've had more issues. It's their uh, truck's tight. They might have been in give up mode since uh, they missed the start. So they weren't really trying too hard to save tires and maybe that's why they ended up super tight. Because it, it does take a conscious effort to keep the tires from falling off of it. And obviously if you saw my tire numbers were, you know, that even if you are trying, it's easier to not <laughs> be able to do it. And again, man, this, the straightaways are giving him the most trouble. There are those bumps. Surprised I didn't put him in the wall. Could have made that a little corner for him, though. Loose into the wall. A tree. Eh, maybe a tiny bit. Another stamp. And we're already almost done with this. All we've seen is some uh, are some uh, wall taps. Oh, we haven't seen this guy yet. Rockstar. This gets it a bit of a tap. No biggie. Side by side racing. Can you believe it? Oh. Ooh, he cuts it really close. Now that 14's not going to like that. Is he going to send it in on him? No, he's, he's chill about it for now. He's going to get the run. Now is he going to do something aggressive? Well, if the 13's blocking, he's giving him extra reason. Makes him overdrive. Ooh, this is good racing. So he makes the 13 overdrive by intimidating him on his bumper. The Chase Elliott to Kevin Harvick tactic. Intimidate. That's a... Uh, Seems like he's kind of falling off. High line versus the mid to low line. Closing laps. Great side by side action. What's the gold trick going to do, though, on the high side? Turns one and two. He kind of gets below the bump a little bit. That's what I was great for. Both lanes pretty equal. In fact, it seems like the high line was the one I was supposed to be doing all along. Because apparently that's what the winner did. Levin sends it. Oh my god, get the postman, because that is sent to Maryland. Holy smokes. That's annoying. I would be very angry if I was the 17, actually. I bet they were yelling about that, and I missed it. That's just... <laughs> so disrespectful. <laughs> I know it's the last lap, but... You're not even close. Not even remotely close. He just takes him out straight up. Wow. And uh, look who benefits most. Not that guy, because he's laps down. That's, uh... Well, that was mean. <laughs> but that's also the end of the race, so... War is wild in this one for me. Didn't really have anything for the top three guys. I think they hit a... 
they have a lot of talent and uh it was uh me just trying to catch up to them but uh pretty fun race i was a great track and uh can't believe it but truck race went green all the way and it was a fixed race too ended up being pretty fun so learned a lot uh Highline, apparently, if you want to try this, it seems like the Highline's the best way to save the tires. Sounds like. Or at least that's what Mr. Shane Williamson did and got the win. So, maybe that's something worth worth uh, investigating. But for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Thanks for watching.